So here we have the handcrafted labs Oz, which is a dual mono valve program EQ. It's pretty good. I mean, let's let's start off with this. And I start all my handcrafted labs um, reviews off with this. 2,500 for a stereo, dual mono stereo, Paul Tech style EQ. And it is, I mean, I've been using it. I've been using it for best part of two days and I, I love it. I'm seriously considering building myself a handcrafted labs rack because everything I have reviewed for handcrafted labs is exceptionally good. Um, now, the Paul Tech EQ um, is, it's, bear this in mind, you're talking 2,500 pounds for a Paul Tech style EQ. Now you get two Paul Techs, right? Two original Paul Techs, matched pair. You're talking about 12 grand. This on the other hand, two and a half, and it is as good. I mean, I'm not just trying to oversell this thing. It's really good. Best thing to do is listen to the video, uh, the audio in the video. Uh, I've done the exact same, I've used the exact same audio files as I did on the Varis and on the Firmus reviews. Um, just so you can compare compression, uh, a four band EQ and a Pultec style EQ. Um, I'm honestly thinking, I, look, I used the Firmus EQ by Handcrafted Labs. I bought one the next day, right? Um, it's currently being built and it will be with me in a week or so. Right, this one... I'm I'm seriously thinking this would be an exceptional piece to have with the Firmus EQ. So Firmus and this. Now my thing with Pultec EQs is that all right, if I'm going to spend 12 grand on a Pultec EQ, what is a Pultec EQ? It's basically high and low EQ. Now I I have always felt with Pultec EQs that I'm getting half an EQ kind of thing. Um, so when it comes to Pultec EQs, it's like, well, you know, do I buy a Pultec EQ or do I buy like a Masalek or do I buy, you know, a four band? Do I buy a, a Muse EQ or something like that? Do I buy one of these five band, four band EQs or an SPLP EQ over a, um, over a, a Pultec style EQ, which is technically two bands? The answer has for me always been, I, I buy the bigger, more flexible, surgical EQ that's, you know, can do everything. And you've got high and low shelves, which is kind of similar. So that was my thing with Paul Tech style EQs. So I've never really kind of been too buzzed about them. Um, this one, on the other hand, I mean, the, the, the major thing is, is it's, it's a really, really top end EQ at a price that is like, you know, I'd buy one of these to stick on my drums. Um, it doesn't have to be like a six, seven, eight grand uh, EQ that has to go on the master chain. Um, so that's my thing with this Paul Tech style EQ. Um, incredibly priced, uh, point to point wiring, um, there's valves in there. Um, it's brilliant. So it's your standard style of EQ. You've got a low boost, you've got the low attenuation, and then you've got the low frequency. So basic use is um, you would boost and then select your frequency and then attenuate as well. So then you've got also the same, exactly the same thing for the high. So you basically got high, low and high. High boost, um, then you've got the high boost Q and then the high frequency. Then you have the high cut. So you select your frequency on the high cut and then you select the amount of high attenuation, so the amount of reduction on the um, on this frequency, and that that applies to both sides. Um, and that is that is your Paul Textile EQ. Like I say, it's a simple EQ, and if you're spending twelve thousand pounds on a simple EQ, you know that's a lot of money to be spending on a simple EQ. Whereas a simple EQ with low and high for two and a half. That's, that's, that's good. That's, that's not a lot for this sort of top end uh, EQ. So let's get 
into the actual audio and how this thing sounds. And you will, I honestly think you will be amazed at how good it sounds. So let's have a little listen. Uh, I've got some audio files up here that I'm going to run through. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little play. I need you. Do you feel it too? 